true. Your principal can't smile, can't swim, can't run, and can't stand bubble tape. Your school bus driver can't drive, wears curlers, makes funny noises, won't try bubble tape. No way, Jose. Bubble tape, it's six feet of bubble gum for you, not them. I can feel that crazy craving for honeycomb. Honeycomb, honeycomb, me one, honeycomb. I can't concentrate when the craving hits. Honeycomb, me one, honeycomb. I know the feeling. So sweet and crunchy. Crunchy. Yeah, it's like toasted honey. Toasted honey. Mm. In that weird shape. Me one, honeycomb down. Yes. I mean, let's get some. Honeycomb. Honeycomb cereal is an irresistible part of this complete mm. breakfast. Got a crazy oh. craving for oh. honeycomb. <laughs> Stop! Stop, evildoers! Introducing Super Stretching Superhero Stretch Armstrong! Yes, Stretch Armstrong! Now stretching fun farther than ever before! He bends, he stretches, even ties and knots, but always returns to his original shape! How's he do that? He's been doing that since he was a kid! <laughs> Stretch Armstrong from Cap Toys! Who else? Style. Sophistication. The ability to launch napalm into oncoming traffic. If these are the things you look for in an automobile, it's time you test drive Twisted Metal 2. Fully automated weaponry, dual rocket launchers, and the new APS flame throwing system. All standard. Drive the 1997 Twisted Metal 2 on PlayStation from Sony and let style be your weapon. Exciting adventure! April saves a young woman from an angry crowd, only to discover that she's Jesse's girl. Who does he really love? Does he only love himself? A daring escape, a shootout, a dash for freedom. Can the Star Sheriff stop the ominous Range Ripper in time? Find out on this incredible adventure of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. General Whitehawk first told us about Trista. Bad news, my friends. The Outriders are building a Range Ripper. I was briefed about them, General Whitehawk, and I'm told they're even more powerful than Renegade units. But if it's not finished yet, perhaps we could put it out of commission. I hope so. Jesse Blue's in charge of the Range Ripper. And he's had a girl named Trista helping him. They're on New Wichita. On our way! Good luck. We soon learned that things in New Wichita had become desperate. Crowds gathered in the streets, angry because their best scientists and engineers had been captured and taken into the Outrider command base. Husbands, brothers, sons and fathers were kept incommunicado to work on the secret Outrider battle machine, the Range Ripper. Well then, right, Fleshling. My lovely Range Ripper is almost done. You seem to be in a good mood, Gaspar. I'll be in a better mood when it's finished. We can conquer the whole new frontier with the Ripper and get rid of all these humans. You don't like humans, do you, Gaspar? I understand. You know, you got all those messy emotions to deal with. Yeah. Well, guess what? I'm a human, and I'm your commanding officer. So you think you can handle that? Jesse, it's time for your staff meeting. Oh, I'll follow your orders to the letter, Commander Blue, without hesitation. 
good. I'll get rid of him. Gaspar wants my job in my head. I like that about him. Oh, Jesse, why'd you say that? Because it's true. I always tell the truth, okay? Especially to you, Trista, because you're my girl. You do believe me, don't you? Yes. Hey, look over there, Noah. Ah, it's my niece. Her name is Trista Derringer. She was born here in New Wichita. Her family was among the first settlers on the new frontier. She grew up here when there was nothing more than a couple of shacks and a livestock corral. Trista was trained as a security agent, top notch, until the Outriders showed up. At first she was against them like everybody else. So why'd you go and change? I'd like to know that myself. One day they found her car all smashed up, and the next thing you know, she's Jesse Blue's girlfriend. Jesse's evil, but very charming. And love is quite <gasps> unpredictable. Yeah, well, he sure got Trista charmed. Uh, speaking of charm... No. Forget it, Colt. I was just gonna offer to meet the little lady. If he charmed her away, I'll just charm her back. She's already got boy trouble. She doesn't need more. I'll go undercover and make contact with her. All right, April. You'll be the one to make contact. But I still want to meet her someday. Come on, Trista. Are we going someplace important, Jesse? Of course we are. Every place I go is important. Well, I mean, um... It's important because of you. Oh. You're not like other people. And neither am I. Why, Jesse? Because we're better. Most people just want to be normal. What a pitiful ambition. I want to be great. And you, Trista, you can be great with me. Of course, anyone who gets in our way will have to be eliminated. I mean, you can't be soft-hearted. You understand? Yes, Jesse. Good. You and me, kid. Oh. That's the brain that runs the Range Ripper. Come on. Let's blast it good. All right, I've got the bomb right here. All right, hold <sighs> it. Trista. What do you have in your hand, Zeb? A bomb. A what? They took us all prisoners. They're making us work like slaves, and it's only gonna get worse. With that Range Ripper, they can take over all of New Wichita. We gotta stop them. We're gonna blow it star high. You try it, and I'll blast both of you with this stun gun. What are you talking about? You're my niece. I knew you when you were a baby. Now come on, Trista. Stand out of the way. I'm sorry, but I can't let you do it. <laughs> you drop that stun gun right now, you hear me? Whoa. I can't stand up. Hold it. They blacked out. Uncle Noah, Aunt Rachel, Bobby, and Pat? Are they just little people like Jesse says? Look, your uncle's already back on the job, so what's the big deal? I just feel bad, that's all. He's my uncle, and now he's being forced to work here. Little people don't get the big picture, so you have to force them. I know, but it still makes me feel funny inside. He had a locket with him. I'd like to give it back to my Aunt Rachel. Don't go soft on me now, Trista. If you want to be great, you have to think great. I do, but, well, it wouldn't hurt anything. All right, go ahead. Make it quick. Thanks, Jesse. It shouldn't take very long. Trista! I brought you this, Aunt Rachel. Oh. Noah's all right. They took him away like a slave. And you call that all right? Trista, what's happened to you? Don't you know what you're doing, girl? Don't you know what they want? I know what they want. They want to take over this planet. But then there'll be nothing left but cactus and tumbleweeds. They've taken away our, our fathers. Our brothers. Let me get back. You don't understand. You're just little people, so you don't see the big picture. You're not gonna leave me at home with a bunch of hungry mouths to little children. Oh, yoo-hoo. Huh? Huh? 
is seen as like a real drag. Totally. Who asked you? Yeah, where'd you come from? You're acting like so uncool. I mean, why get up tight when you can go to the beach and drive around listening to like really loud music? They're taking people away. They're building war machines. Oh, I'm sure the people running things know what they're doing. Why fight it? I mean, it is such a pain even thinking about all that stuff when you could be having fun instead. Come on. Oh, thanks. I like your clothes. Where did you get them? Haven't I seen you before? Uh, maybe. I don't care if you have or not. You really helped me out back there. What's your name? They call me Delilah Wilder. You want to be friends? I think we already are. My name's Trista. You go to school or work? I work for the Outriders. Who are they? They sound like a rock group or something. And I'm really not supposed to talk about them, but I can trust you. It's a very secret operation. I'm going to their headquarters now. Do you want to come along with me? <laughs> it's working. A personal invite. What do you say? Totally. All right, here we go. Oh, for vehicular inspection. Who's that? My friend. Her name is Delilah. <clears throat> like, hi. She's coming in with me. Not so fast, fleshlings. Sounds like trouble. Let's try the ID scanner. Find out if you're really who you say you are. If you're not, this machine will know it. I said she's my friend. Now you want to let us drive through, or shall I tell Jesse you're giving me a hard time? You mean Jesse Blue? Right. Oh, uh, that's okay. You, you can go on through. Let me talk to the trailer boss. There it is, our secret project. What's that? A Range Ripper. If you want to be great, Delilah, you've got to think great. We've got big plans, big dreams. Jesse says the new frontier is obsolete. The vapor trail's the way of the future. Little people don't count. Only great people are really important. That sounds way cool, but how can you tell? What? The great people from the little people. I mean, would I, like, be a great person or what? Um, uh, well, of course. I mean, you're my friend, Delilah. I'm sure Jesse will like you. Anyway, we're gonna leave this place, you know. He's gonna take me to the vapor zone. He promised. Jesse says it's very romantic. You know, I really like talking to you, Delilah. It's nice to have a friend again. Since I came here, Jesse's been my whole world. He's really cute. Yeah? You really think so, Delilah? Station 412. Oh, hi, Jesse. Yes, I'll be right there. I won't be long, Delilah. Now promise me you'll stay right here. Okay. He really does have something special. Poor Trista. There it is. Can you hear me, boys? I found the blueprints. We're right here, April. Tell us what you've got. Where's the Range Ripper? We'll need the specs. Right. That transmission is coming from your office. Who are you hiding, Trista? It's just my friend, Delilah. Does she always send secret messages? I'm sure she's just playing the radio or something. You are, huh? You know what happens to spies around here, Trista. So, uh, you better be telling the truth. Bring her to me. Now. Right! Delilah? Delilah? Delilah! My friend. She's gone. He's the only one I can count on. And Jesse. 
I remember when we met. Hey, take it easy. Oh. I was just trying to help you out. You're an outrider. Well, not quite, but we're on the same team. So go ahead and shoot. I mean, I'll probably get blasted someday anyway. It might as well be by someone pretty like you. I'd rather get to know you. I feel faint. Your life's about to change, Trista. You're gonna be Jesse's girl now. Jesse's girl now. Jesse's girl now. I'm on your side, Jesse, no matter what. <gasps> what? Wow, well, that's yeah, pretty strange. It's just kind of crazy. Yeah. Andale, amigos, let's hit it. This way, get it here. Get it here. Get it here. Get it here. Shut out the range ripper. Oh no, you don't. Just freeze right there, Delilah. Or whatever your name is. I'm April. I'm a member of the Star Sheriffs. What? Sorry I fooled you, but those men had to be freed. I thought you were my friend. I guess that doesn't mean anything to you. It does. I'd like to be your friend, but Jesse's got you wrapped around his little finger. He's been lying to you all along, Trista. I don't believe you. You're just jealous. You like Jesse yourself. You're my enemy. No. Yes. And I'm going to do exactly what Jesse would want me to do. Trista, you're going to regret this for the rest of your life. <sighs> Forget it. Jesse! You don't have what it takes, Trista. You're just one of them. The little people. Here. No, Jesse, I'll do it. I'm still your girl. Don't make me laugh. You were never my girl. I was just leading you on. <gasps> Remember that flat tire you got? Little accident? <laughs> that was no accident. I shot your tire. Hey, it was a risk, you know. I figured if you survived the crash, it'd be all mine. No, why are you saying this? I don't believe it. Believe it. So, you want to know who I really love? That's right, Trista. It's April. She's the only one I ever cared about, but she didn't think I measured up, did you, April? So, I guess this is the end of our romance, huh? Trista. Trista, are you all right? Yes, thanks. You're with real friends now. Come on! Well, welcome back, team. Yeah! Here you go! All right! <laughs> Time for the big guy! Ramrod will now take navigational control. Acknowledge, April. Navigational control on. Ramrod challenge phase one. And I'm up. Move them out. Power stride and ready to ride. All right, team, get ready for the great leap forward. Block and connect. Man. 
Maverick Quick Draw! It's gonna throw a building at us! Look out! Let's sweep this fellow off his feet! I'm locking him down! Careful! How you fix for blades? Dodge! We've been hit from behind! <laughs> Let's let our friend absorb the blast! Great! I blasted my Range Ripper! You win, April. It's Trista's scarf. She has disappeared, April, without a trace. She must have run away because she was afraid. Yeah. I understand, Trista, but I know you'll be back someday. And we'll get together once again. And when we do, we'll become true friends. Punch Gushers with a taste that's gonna drive you fruity. It's very, very different and totally appealing. It's new Fruitomic Punch Gushers, the fruit snack bursting with juicy fruit punch in the middle. So fruity, they'll really turn your head. Whoa, I'll say. New Fruitomic Punch Gushers, the blast of fruit punch is gonna drive you totally fruity. Man, I gotta split. Danita Stokes, president of HAG. It's bad enough that Sega Genesis has the most 16-bit games, but this new Sonic the Hedgehog, oh, he really duffed my doilies. They say he's incredibly fast. Well, what's the hurry, mister? Hmm? And about his attitude. Smarty pants. Why can't it be more like that nice boy Mario? Oh! Little brat! Now, get Sonic free when you buy a Sega Genesis system at its new price of $149.99. Capri Sun Liquid Cool Now there's a hologram pouch and specially marked boxes of Capri Sun You can collect all four Moto, biker mice on battle bikes with the firepower to stop the evil Plutarchians. Catch this, Carbuncle! Gets him every time. Step his way, Exasius Vermin! No way, fish face! <laughs> grease pedal, grease them! Grease this! Whoa! Time to rock and ride! Biker mice from Mars, bikes and figures, each sold separately, new from Galoob. Hey, look! A Dungeons and Dragons ride! Give me a break.
break. I don't like this. Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! Where are we? Look out! Fear not, ranger. Barbarian, magician, thief, cavalier, and acrobat. Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. like we're eating berries again. Hey, look! I caught something! Help me pull it in! Oh, boy! Filet of soul! Or maybe shrimp cocktail! Or better yet, caviar! It's bigger than I thought! Maybe lunch for seven? Monsters bite is poisonous. I hope there's a cure. Come on, we've got to find Dungeon Master. Hank, sis, I, I gotta rest. He's got a fever. What do we do now? I don't suppose there's a drugstore around here. No, ah. Cavalier, there is not. Ah. Dungeon Master. You've got to make Bobby well. I wish it were that easy. But this is nature's doing, and I'm afraid my, my magic cannot undo it. It requires a natural remedy. There must be something we can do. We can't just let him get worse. The only cure is the foot of a yellow dragon. Oh, great. What are we supposed to do? Waltz up to a yellow dragon and ask to borrow his foot? Eric, shh. Where do we find the yellow dragon? To the north, in the garden of Queen Zin. Ah! 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 He's gone again? Come on, we're heading north. Yeah, well, I hope there's something to eat in this garden. I'm still starving. Forget about your stomach, Eric. Let's go. Zen. Have you news for me, Stalker? Yes, Your Majesty, I have. A suitable knight has entered the realm, one who is fit to be your king. Are you certain, Stalker? Can this one survive the trial of the worm? Yes, my queen. He carries a magic weapon given him by Dungeon Master. Excellent. Bring him to me. I must have a king soon, or the spell will be broken and I will lose my throne. As you wish, Queen Zen. You sure this is the 
right way, Hank, but I don't see a sign of dragons anywhere. I don't know, Presto, but we've got to keep looking. Well, I can't look on an empty stomach. I gotta find some food. Just take it easy, Bobby. We'll find the antidote, Bobby, and have you all better really soon. Thanks, guys. There must be something edible around here. Holy cow! I must be dreaming! Hello? Anybody belong to this food here? No, good. Oh, well, you had your chance to claim it. Ah! Help! It's Eric! No! Get away from me! Hank! Quick! Get it before it gets me! No! Don't shoot! I mean you no harm! He's lying! Let him have it! He was going to steal my food! Me? No way! I was just going to borrow it! Who are you? My name is Sir Lars. Take it, I have plenty. Thanks. Let's take some of this to Bobby. The boy is very ill. He should not be moved. Bring him to my house. He can rest there. Oh, come on. You gonna trust a guy who looks like that? So Lars is right. I'll stay here with Bobby until you guys find the Garden of Zin. Zin? Yes, the Dungeon Master told us we could find the antidote there. Dungeon Master is wrong. You will only find evil in the Garden of Zin. You know where it is? You gotta tell us. No. But my brother is sick. If he doesn't get the antidote... Very well. Beyond the dark forest, beyond the Valley of Smoke, that way. Be careful, Sheila. We'll return as soon as we can. That's got to be the Valley of Smoke. But I don't see any garden. Yeah, and Solaris didn't say anything about a fork in the road. I knew we couldn't trust that creep. He's probably selling Bobby and Sheila to Venger at this very minute. You think we should go back? No, no. Always go forward. Just follow the road to the south. Well, why didn't you tell us that before? You didn't ask. Come on, let's get this disaster over with. Hang on, Eric. Don't you notice anything strange? Strange? We're walking through the Valley of Smoke looking for pickled dragon's feet? What, what could be strange? No, I mean about Dungeon Master. He's not talking in riddles. Yeah. Say, DM old buddy, uh, mind if I ask you a question? Not at all. Uh, what's the name you gave me when I got the shield? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ha! It's Cavalier, you phony baloney! Well done, Cavalier. I'm pleased to see you weren't fooled by this imposter. Don't listen to him. He's the imposter. So, you want to challenge my magic? Very well. Yeah, but which one? Now, foolish one, I'll teach you never to impersonate me. Hank, wait! You might get the wrong... I'm the real dungeon master. He's the imposter. He'll destroy you with his evil. Very clever, but it will gain you nothing. Wow, what was he? A phantom stalker, and he'll think twice about bothering you again. Tell me, Ranger, how did you know that creature was not the real Dungeon Master? You taught us to use force only to defend ourselves. That imposter had you down, but he kept coming. You learn quickly, very quickly. Which is the right road, Dungeon Master? The right road is not the left. That's the real Dungeon Master, all right. He means take the right fork, not the left. We don't have time to waste. Come on! Good luck! You'll need it. <laughs> Sheila, I'm right here, Bobby. I'm cold. Fire needs more wood. There must be something around here I can use as a blanket. 
Sir Lars, what's this? Never touch that! What would a creature, I mean, someone like you, be doing with a king's robe and crown? They belong to someone gone now, never to return. Well? This will keep the boy warm. Thank you, Sir Lars. I don't get it. Dungeon Master said this road would take us right to the Garden of Zin. If this was a garden, someone should definitely fire the gardener. Hey, what's the... Who knows? Let's just get out of here. Ah! These vines are like steel. <laughs> They're pulling us under. Trouble, young ones? Dungeon Master, are we ever glad to see you? Get us out of here. No. It's the imposter again. I knew it all along. There's the real dungeon master. Your powers of observation are improving, Cavalier. Unfortunately, <gasps> they still leave much to be desired. Perhaps you will not survive the trial of the worm after all. the young knight will face the trial of the worm. Soon, my queen. Very soon. I don't believe it! We're alive! Yeah, but where? And where's Eric? Oh! Oh! What's this? The local subway? Diana, worms! Yeah! Worms? Those phantom stalkers said something about the trial of the worm. Don't think about it. Let's get out of here and find that cure for Bobby. <laughs> there must be something we can do to help him. No, only if your friends find the cure. like chemicals or medicines. You're not a doctor, are you? Or a wizard? No, I've studied much about magic, but I'm no wizard. But I don't understand why you... Silence! Ask me no more! Forgive me. The spell makes me lose control. Spell? You're under some kind of spell? You can do nothing for me. No one can. Save your concern for your brother. Oh. What on earth could have dug a tunnel like this? Who cares? I just want to get out. What's the matter, Presto? <laughs> There's something up my sleeve. Uh, yeah, it's another worm. What was that? Oh, no. I just figured out what dug this tunnel. Well, what? Worms! Worms? These little things? No! That big thing! Oh. Yeah. Oh. I think it's their mother! Oh. Yeah. Oh. What the? Dead end! Oh. I sure hope a worm can be saddle broken! It can bite you if you stay down there, Eric. You're right. Here I come. Okay, big fella. Up. It's chewing through the ceiling. Jump. Bareback riding on giant worms. I don't know how much longer I can take this crazy world. We'll take a look at this. Be the Garden of Zen. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's find that yellow dragon. You have survived the trial of the worm. Queen Zen requests your presence at once. Yeah! 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 I hope my servants were not rude with you. Who are you? And what do you want with us? I am Queen Zen, and I have need of a king. 
someone to rule my kingdom with me. I have chosen you. Me? Him? Him? Uh, uh-uh. No way. Sorry, but I'm trying to get out of this world. I don't want to settle down in it. Why not let your friends continue the search? <laughs> While you share the wealth of my throne with me. Wealth? Well, on second thought... L listen, guys, if, if I'm gonna be trapped in this world, why not be trapped in style? But what about Bobby? Oh, yeah. Listen, Queen, I'll be your king. But first, tell my friends where to find the yellow dragon. Our friend is sick. We need to slay the dragon and get its foot for the cure. Slay the dragon? <laughs> Follow me into the garden. Behold, the yellow dragon. And this is its foot. Thanks. You sure you want to stay, Eric? Beep scrounging for berries every day. Come back and visit when Bobby's better. You can even bring back that creep, Salars. Salars? Follow them. See that they never reach Salars. Yes, my queen. Once I have my king, my spell can never be broken. Salars' place is just ahead. I hope we found the cure in time. <laughs> This path is forbidden to you. You may come no farther. Guess that's that, Hank. Guess so. Okay, there's gotta be a spell for this. Abra, Zabra, Prefabra. Phantom Sucker! This is Zen's dream. My friends, they're in trouble. Rejoice, O kingdom of Zen, on this day of your king's coronation. Cavalier, do you accept Zen as your queen and promise to be her king for eternity? I do. And to protect the kingdom from dragons and barbarian invaders. Oh, And well. to perform the ritual dance with the serpent of fire, to battle the giant two-headed ogre, to... Hold it! Is this a coronation or a disaster movie? Well, it's merely part of the ceremony. Continue. <clears throat> Thank you, Majesty. Oh, Queen of Zen! I can be some help after all. Sheila, we got the cure. Oh, oh no, we're done for. Release them, stalkers, or you'll never leave this forest. Salars, perhaps we should finish you too. As a present for Queen Sin. special, Bobby. Yeah, just doing some gardening. Is the boy well? Yes, Sir Lars, he... <gasps> Sir Lars? Not Sir Lars. My name is Sir Lawrence, heir to the throne of Zen, until my sister's evil magic turned me into that creature. It was your tear of gratitude that broke her spell. You don't mean Queen Zen. But Eric's about to become her king. Well, at least she's beautiful. Not for long. With the spell on me broken, the one who cast it becomes its victim. Poor Eric. By the laws of this kingdom, I now pronounce you man and monster. 
after. I, I quit. No, it can't be. I was so close. So close. You will not reconsider, Sheila? I'm honored you asked me to be your queen, but my friends and I have to find a way back home. Well spoken, Sheila. Dungeon Master! You have seen the true person beneath his monstrous appearance. You should be proud. Speaking of which, I see right through you, Mr. Imposter. Caution, Cavalier. I am the real Dungeon Master. If you're the real Dungeon Master, then I'm a blue-nosed baboon. A blue-nosed baboon? What a strange choice. What's so funny? So I made a little mistake. Come on, Dungeon Master, change me back. I was just kidding. I knew it was you all along. New lick a color. As you lick, they change colors. The colors, Duke. The colors. I'm colorblind, kid. Popsicle. <laughs> From good humor. Prepare yourself for combat. Mortal Kombat action figures. Fight for right in your own tournament of champions. Liu Kang. Johnny Cage. Raiden. Get over here. Sub Zero. Reptile in the Dragon MK1. Kino. On the combat cycle, Mortal Kombat, it's not just a game anymore. Mortal Kombat action figures. Combat cycle comes with Kano, Dragon MK1 comes with Reptile. What do you have, folks? A large pepperoni pizza. And a Pepsi, please. A Pepsi. Sure thing, Curly. Here you go, Cupcake. Thank you. Hey, come here. I want you to listen very carefully to what I'm going to tell you. We both know I ordered a Pepsi Cola. And now you've insulted me and my entire family by offering me this, this, whatever it is. But being a civilized person, I like to give you a chance to make amends. Capisce? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Fantastic fruity, five real fruit flavors. <laughs> hey, Baldy, Baldy, popsicle. Hello. <laughs> From good humor. I am Adora, He-Man's twin sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda! of my new tripod tank, eh? <laughs> it looks pretty rusty to me. 
I asked Hordak, not you. And I heard you! Enough, little one. Imp's right, it is rusty. But it also looks like the weapon we need for our attack on Bright Moon. Our men report that large groups of Horde troopers are gathering here. That can only mean one thing. That Hordak's planning an attack. It doesn't make sense. He knows he can't break through Queen Angela's magical force dome. You mean he has known that. If he's trying again, he must have a reason for thinking he can break through. Begging your pardon, Queen Angela, our scouts have picked up this prisoner, Horde Corporal Romeo. He was captured near the force dome. Good. He can tell us what Hordak is up to. I've already told you my name. I won't tell you anything else. Listen here, Corporal. He won't tell us any more, Bo. And we're not like Hordak. We won't try to force him. Besides, his arm looks as though it could use some attention. I'll see what I can do about it. Bring him to the medical room, huh? Oh, don't worry about your arm. It'll be just fine. There's Castle Bright Moon. Soon you'll see the real powers of my tank. Ta ta ta! When are we gonna see some action? How about right now? <laughs> That's not nice, Imp. And as for you, if you don't leave him alone... But he started it! Enough! We've got a battle to win! That's the biggest horde army I've ever seen. We don't have to worry. The Force Dome will keep him out. Won't it, Queen Angela? Yes, I think so, if it has enough energy. We'd better check the other defenses. Bo, you and Flutterina look after the walls while I see what I can do outside. We're on our way. I've got a feeling she is going to be needed very soon. she -Ra! Ouch, that hurts. Oh. A little antiseptic hurts? What kind of a soldier are you? A very good one. I'm the youngest corporal in my regiment. A horde regiment. What's wrong with that? What's wrong? Look out that window. Your regiment is about to attack our castle. We have to attack. This is a rebel castle. Well, I'm a rebel too, but I just patched up your arm. You're different. I thought that rebels were all bad. You're not. But why do you fight us? The reason we fight is because you're trying to take over our land. We were told it was not your land. But let's talk about something else, like, well, like maybe being friends. How can we be friends if we're enemies? I'd better go help defend our castle from your troops. I guess that means you're going to lock me up. Well, I should, but I won't if you give me your word that you'll stay right here in the medical room. All right, I promise. Yours really is. Here's your chance, Entrapta. 
Now don't blow it! Ooh, watch this. <laughs> That's great. What are those discs gonna do? Eat the dome away? <laughs> For once, you're almost right, you little fink. The discs are going to trap the energy of the dome. Without the energy, the dome will just collapse. <laughs> oh, look, it's working already. Time for Shira. For the honor of Grayskull. piece of junk. were like animals, but Glimmer isn't like an animal at all. Wait a minute, Corporal Romeo. You're a soldier. Your duty is to get back to your regiment and fight. No matter how nice or, or pretty Glimmer is. Towels. If I tied them together, I could make a rope. It just might work. That was quite a job Shira did on Hordak's tank. It was magnificent, but it doesn't solve our problem. What do you mean? The Force Dome is at less than half strength. It will take at least a week to repair. And in the meantime? In the meantime, we'd better hope Holdak doesn't try another attack. He won't take a chance of meeting up with Shira again. Don't count on it. He wants to take over Bright Moon very badly. And without the Force Dome, we can't protect all of Bright Moon from a strong attack. Thank goodness Hordak doesn't know that. Wait till Hordak hears about this. Soldier? We seem different, but I was wrong. 
I'm going to find him and bring him back, and I'm going alone. I don't understand why you want to capture this horde soldier. And why on your own? Because it was my fault that he escaped, Mother. So it's up to me to bring him back. As a queen, I'm proud that you're so responsible. But as a mother, I want you to be safe. Adora, what are your feelings? I think it'll be all right. But I'd like to suggest that Cal go along. Cal? But why? Well, for protection, of course. <laughs> for protection? Cal? <laughs> you, you seem to have forgotten that I am well trained in the physical arts. <laughs> of course, Cal. But what's even more important is that with you there, Glimmer can send a message to us in case she needs help. And you, Cal, are said to be the fastest thing on two wings in all of Etheria. <laughs> well, I guess that's true. Good. Then you'll be Glimmer's companion. Be careful, my daughter. Will she be safe? Don't worry, Queen Angela. I'll keep track of where she is. If she needs help, I'll see she gets it. Good. I'm almost there. Not quite. Princess Glimmer. You promised you wouldn't try to escape. I had no choice. I'm a Horde soldier. You know that. I only know that I told you about what the Horde does to innocent people, and I thought you listened. I did listen, but it's not true. It is true. But it doesn't matter whether you agree or not. I'm taking you back. Please don't force me to use a freeze ray. Come on, let's go. I don't think so. Ooh, Glimmer, look out! What? <laughs> I'm sorry, Princess. I told you I don't have any choice. I am a Horde soldier. Cow! Get help! Quick! <laughs> On my way! The Owl! Don't let him get away! Use your tractor rays! <laughs> Better practice your shooting, turkey! <laughs> I miss! Forget it. What can a bird do? Help me escort this prisoner to the Fright Zone. This is the corporal who was held in Castle Brightmoon? Yes, Master. And the rebel who followed him when he escaped. <laughs> we'll deal with her in a minute. Tell me, Corporal, did you observe anything in the castle that will help us? Yes, Master Hordak. The Force Dome has been damaged. Romeo, don't! Its powers will not be back to full strength for several days. You, this is all chance. With new power from the magnetic pole, my tech will be invincible. And what about Shira? Oh, place this girl in the deep dungeons of the magnetic pole. Hmm. When Shira comes to her rescue, I'll trap her in the magnetism. <laughs> and by the time she gets loose, Bright Moon will be mine. Throw the girl in the deep dungeons. Hey, not so rough. That's enough, Corporal. The troopers know how to handle rebels. Take her to the dungeon. But she hasn't done anything. Silence! Horde soldiers do not tell Hordak what to do. You need a lesson in manners. Throw Corporal Romeo in the deep dungeons with the rebel. But I've done nothing. I've been a good Horde soldier. But it pleases me to put people in the dungeon. Even fool Horde soldiers. Take him away. <laughs> and then they were taken to the deep dungeons of the magnetic pole. Oh, oh! Then it's time for Shira. Shira! Come on, Swifty. We have work to do. I don't understand why you escaped after you said you wouldn't. I was just trying to be a loyal soldier. But I've learned something since then. Real soldiers aren't supposed to hurt innocent people and throw them in dungeons for no reason. It's funny. Adora said something like that when she left the Horde and joined the Rebellion. Adora, I've heard about her. They call her a traitor. 
She's not a traitor, but she left the Horde because she knew that what they were doing was wrong. She was right, but it was hard for her to leave her friends and everything she knew. It, it would be hard for you, too. Yes, but if I've done wrong, I must try to make up for it. Will you help me? You bet I will. But the first thing we've got to do is find a way out of here. There, Swift Wind. That crack in the Rocky Mountainside. It's in the right location for the deep dungeon. Let's get down there, Swifty. <laughs> Hordak will give us a great reward. <laughs> Sorry I can't stay, fellas. Just go ahead and continue your exercise without me. This little knife just isn't big enough to do much. Keep working on it. Be around here somewhere. Glimmer! Glimmer! Where are you? Glimmer! It's Shira! In here! In here! Coming through! You've been in there long enough! She did it! That's fantastic! Thanks, Shira! No problem. <laughs> We've got company. Find a way out of here, while I take care of these troopers. That'll take care of you guys for a while. Now I'd better make sure Romeo and Glimmer got out. Excellent. She was headed for the magnetic chamber. <laughs> I'll just switch on the power magnets. This is the magnetic pole center. Hordak must be trying to harness its energy. Uh oh, the magnets have been switched on. Let's put this energy to some good use. That'll take care of Hordak's equipment. Next, I'll make sure those dungeons will never be used as prisons again. And that's that. Thanks, Shira! Rebellion. And I'm happy to be here. Oh, and I think Glimmer's pretty happy about it, too. <laughs> of course I am. The Rebellion's got a new soldier. Even more important, we've got a new friend. Steel-jawed beasts have a hunger for destruction. 
can they be stopped by the ultimate galactic hunter? Predator! The battle is on. Aliens versus Predator, the hunter against the beast. An alien killer crab attacks, but the Predator crack tusk fire shoulder mount missiles, yeah. and Predator scavenge attacks with a double-barreled bola, each sold separately. Will the Predator win the battle against the evil aliens? Aliens versus Predator! Now get a special two-pack with an exclusive Dark Horse comic. They're squirmy and wormy and purple and green. The grossest little creatures that you've ever seen. Creepy clawers. Build a monster mold with the colored plastic poop. And make a creepy crawler from a yucky monster soup. They're yucky, yucky, squirmy, wormy, very scary, sometimes hairy, squiggly, wiggly, creepy crawling. Creepy clawers. Gross out your sister. Embarrass your dad. You can be a little creep without being bad. Creepy crawlers workshop with plastic goop. He wants it because every O is rolled in Appalicious Apple Sprinkles. Appalicious and all mine. And then rolled in Cinnamon Incredible Cinnamon Sprinkles. Cinnamon Incredible. And worth fighting for. We'll stop you. Yeah, how? With this pencil. What? He's just a cartoon droid. I'll erase him. <laughs> Once again, Apple Cinnamon Cheerios is part of this balanced breakfast. It's Appalicious. And Cinnamon Incredible. Chester Cheetah here in one red-hot slingshot, itching to enter that Cheetos production center. My cool takes a party as I go bombarding those Cheetos snacks he's gotten. The cheese that goes! Crunch. <laughs> it's not easy being cheesy. I Welcome to Video Land. Mega High! Wake up, Kid Icarus. Welcome to Castle Day! <laughs> it's Congo Land! <laughs> My mind will catch you, little princess! <laughs> princess, the palace is under siege! Behold, the ultimate warp zone. The art of good painting is all in the wrist. Thanks for the advice, Simon. But we're painting a wall, not a postage stamp. A good artist has patience. Maybe, but a good house painter has a roller. <laughs> Thanks, dude. It's time for some rocking and rolling. for the second coat. Oh, that was terrific. Oh. <laughs> it may be fast, but where's the joy of savoring each brush stroke and drop of paint? <laughs> I see what you mean about savoring every drop of paint, Simon. Very funny. Your Highness, come quickly! I'm picking up something mega amazing on a satellite monitor! What's the big deal? It's just a warp world filled with beautiful flowers. Not just any flowers, Your Highness. Power flowers. Here, let me run the tape back for you. We've got the hurry King Hippo. Metroid's running out of energy. <laughs> and without these special power flowers, Mother Brain is powerless. Yeah, and this is the only warp zone in Video Land where these flowers grow. Do you realize what this means? Yeah. 
If we can knock out Mother Brain's source of power, she won't be able to attack Video Land. We've got to hurry if we're gonna get there before King Hippo and Eggplant Wizard finish loading the flowers. Better buckle up, dudes. I don't have my driver's license yet. You what? No! He's going to mash us in the wallpaper paste! Mother Brain will be running out of power any minute now. Hey, there they are. It's the end team. You know what to do. Right, activating strawberry jammers. I'll take over now. The controls are... Hmm, jammed. Now I'll get him with my peanut butter blasters, and they'll be peanut butter and jam. <laughs> We're mega doomed. Not yet. Pause. This better work. gonna fry any eggplant. Just flowers. Now go back to your mother inferior and tell her she just ran out of gas. Permanently. What's that noise it is? It's the power flowers. This place is about to make a blow. Abandon warp zone! Women and eggplants first. Kevin! Before you get us in real trouble. It's too late, Mother Brain. Without your power flowers, you're through threatening Video Land. No, you don't understand. I must have power. I must. I must. I must. I must have power. Looks like Mother Brain's world is finally brain dead. We've done it. Video Land is free at last! No more mega monsters attacking in the night! No more battles to the Maximus! And best of all, no more waking up early! Oh, you did it, Kevin! You saved Video Land! Oh, you're the greatest game master in the universe! What was that? It looks like some kind of warp! I don't believe it! That's my neighborhood! That Mega Blast must have opened up a war back to your world! That's right, Duke! We can go home! Finally! Oh, I mean, you'll finally be able to take a well-deserved rest! Yes, that's what I mean! Uh, do you have to go home, Kevin? Don't you see, Princess? It's perfect timing! I've accomplished what the Ultimate Warp Zone called me here to do! I won the game! Now it's opening up to let me go back. But what about us? Oh, he needn't worry about us, your wonderfulness. We'll be fine without him. Ugh. I'll mega miss you, Captain Ann. Uh, I'll miss you too, Mega Man. You were the best game master anyone could ask for, Givinicus. Thanks, Kid Icarus. Goodbye, Simon. Thanks for all your help. Goodbye, Captain Ann. 
Dr. Black? Uh, must have gotten some flower pollen in my eyes. I'll think of you every time I play my video games, Lana. Goodbye, Kevin. Hurry, Captain Ann. The warp is starting to close. Well, I guess I won't be needing these anymore. Well, what are you waiting for? Take us home, Mega Man. Aye, aye, your highness. Later at the Palace of Power. Well, I guess this would be a good time for all of us to take a well-deserved rest. I could visit my family on Mount Icarus. And I could tell my people on Megaland about our victory. And we could spend a quiet week together at my lodge on Castlevania. Uh, no thanks, Simon. So long, your Heineckus. See you soon. Are you sure we... What am I going to say to Mom and Dad about where I've been? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Dick. If I tell them the truth, they'll think I've come unwrapped. What is it, boy? Metal tree? Something weird is going on here. We didn't even change back to normal. Mother brain. Of course, those flowers weren't powerful. King Hippo and Egg Pat Wizard were just pretending. Yeah, yeah, show sure what great actors we are, King Hippo. Romeo Brain, oh, Romeo Brain. Whoever art thou, Romeo Brain? Shut up! <laughs> then you were running out of power. Are you kidding? I've got enough Zima Tank power crystals to count the video ad ten times over. And with you out of the way, that will be very easy. Yeah, you're not so tough without your power pad and zapper. <gasps> Silence! Captain Ian is in our home, and I always treat my guests with respect before I destroy them. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh great! We're in the center of Metroid. <laughs> oh, I won't be needing my zapper anymore. Way to go, Kev. Come on, Duke, let's beat it. <laughs> As Captain Anne searches for a way out of the deadly Metroid world, the princess is about to face her own crisis. Oh, it sure is a beautiful night. I wish I could share it with Kevin. Ah! It's Metroid! But that's impossible! There's no more power! On the contrary, your naiveness! In a short while, I will have supreme power as ruler of Video Land! What have you done with Captain N? Why, I walked him home, of course! To Metroid, sweet Metroid! <laughs> At this very moment, my armies are launching sneak attacks all across Video Land! 
You'll never succeed, Mother Brain. Are you kidding? With our captain in to help you, you haven't got a chance. Meanwhile, on Mount Icarus, the peace celebration is about to come to an unsuspected end. without Kavinicus to enjoy it with. I hereby conquer this world and rename it Mount Hippicus. <laughs> there must be some mistake. Video Land is at peace. The mistake is yours, Kid Whippicus. King Hipparay! King Hipparay! King Hipparay! And on Mega Land, Another peaceful scene is about to be shattered. I wish Captain M could be here to see this mega parade. Sorry to interrupt your party, mega jerks, but I've come to give my regards. Not to mention orders. <laughs> Grab them! Even Captain N can help you now. <laughs> Even on the dreary world of Castlevania, Mother Brain's presence is about to be felt. Tell us how it happened once again, Mr. Belmont. It was nothing, really. I just single-handedly defeated Mother Brain and an army of 50,000 troops with both hands tied behind my back. No, I can't lie anymore. That's not the way it happened at all. Captain N is the real hero. I'm just a big mouth. <laughs> From now on, you're all prisoners of Mother Brain. Not to mention vegetarian. <laughs> Meanwhile, as Video Land succumbs to Mother Brain's invasion... Boy, what I wouldn't give for my zapper right now. I'd even be happy with a squirt gun. Huh? <gasps> Dude, run! <laughs> Lair. According to these battle plans, Mother Brain's forces are attacking all over Video Land. But she made one fatal mistake, Duke. She figured I'd never get out alive, so she left Metroid undefended. And worse than that, she left the keys in the ignition. Mm -hmm. Back at the palace, Mother Brain has taken command of Video Land's seat of power. Oye, oye! All rise in the presence of Her Cerebral Highness, Queen Mother Brain! 
Bring the prisoners forward! As judge, jury, and executioner of Videoland, I charge you all with conspiracy to bring peace and freedom to everyone! How do you plead? Guilty and proud of it. That goes for me, too, I guess. I agree. Ah, uh, me too. Order in the court! Uh, I'll have an eggplant sandwich. Uh, hold the pickles. Oh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll hold the pickles. Will you shut up? I hereby send you to banishment into the Black Hole Warp Zone! The Black Hole Warp Zone? Oh, but no one's ever come out alive! The gravity is so great, we'll be squished to no bigger than a grain of sand! How dreadful! None of my clothes will fit. No! I'm too handsome to die! It can't be! Hey there, everybody! It looks like I got here just in time. But that's my world! He's trespassing! Destroy him! Whatever you say, my main brain. I'll nuke him with my atomic spud gun. Detroit is my nerve control center. My brain waves are tuned to it. Anything that happens to Metroid happens to me. Thanks for the tip, Mother Brain. Now release the end team and tell your armies to surrender. Or I'll tell Duke to chew up the circuits that mentally connect you to Metroid. Huh, you're just fluffy. Sure, we mean business, Duke. <laughs> I never knew you were such a good dancer, Mother Brain. Knock it off, you worm-eating vegetable! What do you say you and I do a little dancing of our own? Uh, uh. Let's go, N-Team! Good boy! The autopilot is set to take this crate back where it belongs. Get ready to warp out of here, Duke. Stay close, Bella. Relicus! Captain N did it again! Okay, okay, you're welcome. Put me down, please. I didn't think I was ever gonna see you again. Well... I'm sorry you weren't able to go home, Kevin. Yeah, well, in a way, I'm kind of glad I have a reason to stay in video land. So am I. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot something. Remember this? Boy, there's no denying it. Life just isn't as cool without my power pad and zapper. Kevin, I thought I told you to clean up your room. Cookie crisp! Cookies? For breakfast? Time out!
out. Uh oh. See, I make the calls, and I say cookies aren't for breakfast. Oh yeah. Hey, up. Oh. Whoever says cookies aren't for breakfast hasn't tried Cookie Crisp cereal. Mmm. It's the only cereal that tastes like real chocolate chip cookies and is a chocolatey part of this good breakfast. So what you call now, Ump? <laughs> Doggone good cookies for breakfast. Cookie <laughs> Crisp. Try reach down with his mighty head. Come inside the pages of the Ultra Force comic book. Where Prime and his Ultra Heroes battle on against Enemy and his evil forces. It's Prime time, Enemy. Fire! Sorry, Prime. Evil rules. Get him! Yeah, Prime's getting pounded. Not for long. Cool and Nightmare will nuke you. Oh! Ultra cool! New Ultra Force action figures each sold separately. New from Galoo. Welcome to Taco Bell. Can I take your order? Uh, let's see. 1,000 burrito supremes, 700 Mexican pizzas, and one of those new gorditas. Hey, Godzilla, want something to drink? Godzilla's at Taco Bell on four collector cups, and now you can put them in a cool Godzilla cup holder. Get them while supplies last. like six eggs in this omelet to me, Everett. Truth be told, sire, the chef has run out of eggs. There's only five. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to double up on cheeseburgers at lunchtime. Sir Phil, <gasps> look! No warlords? I don't believe it. Maybe they've given up and run away. Yeah, and maybe I'm going to go on a light and healthy diet. <gasps> Never mind. I gotta tell Arthur. Sir Phil! Huh? Hawk! Hawk! Now it's a troll bridge! It could be a trick. <laughs> if one guy thinks he's gonna cause us trouble, then the trick's gonna be on him. Yo, Gallop! Lower the drawbridge! Hey! Tyrone, come with me! And so, Your Majesty, uh, in answer to your plea for help against the Warlords, King Clovis journeyed to your land with his soldiers. King Clovis? Yes, uh, of course. You remember you sent a message asking him for help some time ago. Right, right. Sure, I, I remember. Our army was riding through the canyon, ready to join you in your struggle. When the Warlords struck, our soldiers are trapped. Helpless against the Warlords, you must come to King Clovis' aid. How do we know this isn't some kind of trick? How could it be a trick, Sir Knight? Huh? When I carried the self-same scroll your king sent to my lord so many years ago.
Yes. Yes, this is the message that was sent. Tyrone, take this man to have his wounds attended to. Then tell the rest of the knights to meet me in the round table room. Yes, Your Majesty. Mm. Well, what do you think? The true King Arthur did send this message. If King Clovis has at long last come, then you are duty-bound to help him. Hmm. We're going to need the whole team on this mission. Including you, Merlin. Hmm. Then the round table room must be protected in my absence. I will meet you in the courtyard. Mm. King Arthur. And we are the Knights of Justice. We, we pledge fairness to all to, to protect, protect the weak and vanquish the evil. Take care of your queen and the ladies while we're away. Hmm. Let's do it, guys! I don't like this, Arthur. We get in trouble in this pocket, and we're permanently sacked. King Clovis and his soldiers came to help us, Wally. We can't let them down. Excalibur! Satoum. There aren't any of them. You shall never leave this canyon alive, Arthur! We'll see about that, Viper! <laughs> 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 what? Clovis? They are not here, Arthur. They are but an illusion. Huh? 
everybody! Out of the canyon! Than Morgana's magic can cause the boulders to rain down on us. I hope. Amen to that! <sighs> Queen Guinevere? Are you all right? Yes, Squire Everett. I just got a cinder in my eye. He'll be all right, Your Majesty. Thank you for caring, Everett. Guinevere! Huh? <gasps> Arthur! The drawbridge, quickly! <coughs> Arthur, my king! We must get him out of his armor and to his chamber. Gently, my ladies, gently. It was a trap, Guinevere. Our knights, Merlin, all destroyed. I have surrendered to Morgana. Arthur! It was the only way. At least our lives will be spared. At last, your castle has become my castle. It is a heavy price to pay, but I do it gladly to save the one I love. Now keep your promise. Let all of us go unharmed. I have no more use for you. No! You see, magical illusions quickly outlive their usefulness. <gasps> On the other hand, I may well have a use for you. Viper, lock these prisoners in the dungeon! How unwise of me not to have realized Morgana's plan. She fooled us all with this trap, Merlin. And now Camelot's unguarded. We've got to get back to the castle before it's too late. The first place breaking out of this canyon. Aim your shields! The end of the round table is upon us, and with it, the end of Camelot's strength. Merlin's magic. But this time, he shall not stop me after I've come so far. Strong Morgana. 
Do not worry. I came prepared. I will use all that I learned from the Book of Magic to destroy this aura and turn the round table into ashes. Go! Fortify the wall, lest Arthur and his knights should return before my work is done. Hey! Now we shall see whose magic is stronger. I will break you yet! Keep your hands off her! Move! I fear my Arthur is no more. If that were true, Majesty, Morgana would not have spared your life. I hope you're right, Everett. I need to hope. I am sure, Majesty. King Arthur would never let us down. I know it. Thank you, Everett. Arthur and his knights must not be allowed into the castle until Morgana has destroyed the round table. Arthur! Morgana is in Camelot! I feel it! Excalibur, be my strength! Guinevere, run faster! When I signal, fire your weapons and cut the knights to shreds! by the second, I shall have my victory! That's our home field. Are we gonna let him take it from us? No! Are we gonna take it back? Yeah! All right then, let's do it! Yeah! Good, Arthur. <laughs> Make your assault. Make your final attack. Wait! Wait! Not yet! Almost here! It's not over, guys. We'll get him on the next series. Time runs short, Arthur. I can feel Morgana's magic working against the barrier I placed over the round table room. And Guinevere? Safe for now. But no one can say for how long. We have to get back inside Camelot. There has to be a way. There is a way. But it will take great courage. Your faith in your success and cause may be the only thing to see us through. Whatever it takes, Merlin. Yes! Yes! I am stronger than you! My power knows no bounds! We've got to split their defense. Once we're on the inside, we'll hit them from there while you hit them from out here. Yeah. Trust in your heart. In your cause, draw strength from it. Take us to that room, take us to that place where only good exists and evil has no face. Yeah. 
Lower the drawbridge! Destroy Arthur and the knights in the courtyard! Let the other knights attack from the field! We must stop Arthur from opening the drawbridge! At last! And now... No, Morgana. Merlin! You have no power in this room. There is too much good here. Feel that which is good. No! No! Be gone. Leave this place where evil is not allowed. Oh, but I shall escape, for what is a kingdom without its queen? Arthur! No, Morgana! If you want her back, you will let my warlords leave. They may leave, so long as you don't harm Guinevere. Hmm. Yeah. But Arthur, there's no guarantee she's going to let Guinevere go after the warlords are out of here. I used to run a four-flat 40. Yeah, and runners in shorts, not full armor. All right, Morgana. Your warlords are out of here. Let Guinevere go. As you ask, Arthur. <laughs> You're gonna pay for this, Morgana! <laughs> Feel bad, Lance. You can't throw a touchdown pass every time. Hmm. Ask for help. What are you guys up to? We needed to bring this cart back to Camelot. Now this stupid cart got stuck in the gully. I think we should just leave it here. Well, wait a minute. Don't give up so soon. You just need a little help. Would you guys help us? Sure. Now, if we all get behind this... Yeah, we did it! Even knights need help once in a while. Don't be afraid to ask your friends or parents for help. Play 
defeat the dark side. Get a game medallion and you could win one of millions of prizes instantly. Even a Star Wars speeder. Only at Pizza Hut, Taco Bell and KFC. My friends, depend on me, Smokey B, to voice a plea. Respect the forest, protect our trees. Don't worry, I do it. Yes, smoke, baby. What's the trouble? Round. This isn't me. But smoke, you're 50. We agreed you'd talk to kids in their language. I know, but I'll just give it to them straight. <clears throat> kids, only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey, the floor. Hmm. I, smoke. I gotta get back to the forest. <laughs> Unbelievable. Whoa. Name's Ghoul. Pleased to meet you. <gasps> ah, been there, done that. Whoa. What the? Ah! <laughs> hey! Whoa, whoa! Admit it, kid man. You're nothing without this suit. Says who, Beefcake? You inconsiderate, mm, immature, im mm, imbecilic. Hey, it isn't my fault the protoflake can't handle the truth. You're not a real ultra. You're just a hired gun in a cyber suit. <laughs> we are supposed to be a team here. Remember. Morning, Malibu Zoo. Jimmy. For you, Proto. It's your mother. Unbelievable. Mom, you okay? What's wrong? We've got trouble in the neighborhood, Jimmy. Trouble? What kind of trouble? There are strange things happening to the people here. I'm scared, Jimmy. Please come home. Okay, Mom. I'm on my way. Oh, did Mommy tell Jimmy he couldn't come out to play? Is everything all right? Hey, Prototype, where are you going? What do you care? I'm not an Ultra, you aren't my family, and I'm out of here. Just what do you think you're doing, Ruiz? I need a holiday, okay? I'm going home. I decide your vacations. An Ultra Tech can't afford to have you running off with our suit. But it's okay to run off with Ultra Force. That's business. You are not going into some slum in Ultratech's $50 million suit. From now on, don't call me. I'll call you. I guess I still miss this place. <gasps> Jimmy, what have they done to you? It's no big thing, Mom. Subdermal implant terminals. They allow the suit to respond to me faster. I worry about you, Jimmy. I know, Mom. So what's going on? I... I can't explain it, Jimmy. Your friends, they... What, Mom? What? Something has changed them. Something evil. I don't know what's going on around here, but I'm not leaving till I do. Check the spaceman, bro. Hector, is that you? Man, what happened to you? What's it to you, Ruiz? Come on, homie. What's up with all the muscles? You ain't no homie to me. 
Okay. What? Whoa, man. What's going on? Hey, what is that stuff? It's just a zook pod. Relax. Just a zook pod? I saw what it did to you. Yeah. Well, it makes you feel good. So it like buffs you out, okay? Makes you look like you want to look. What's wrong with that? And what about those punks trying to smoke you in broad daylight? Those are Marcello's guys. We're on his turf. Marcello? Yeah. He lost his cool when the pump moved in on him. The pump? That's the dude that fronts us the zook. Don't tell me you guys are slinging for this pump guy. Back off, Ruiz. You leave home and grab the brass ring. You don't get to come back and shoot your mouth. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, guess. Of course, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Go back to Hollywood where you belong. Ultra hero. I'm here to see Marcello. Get lost, kid. I said I want to see Marcello now. Get lost. Ugh. Whoa. It's okay, Big Joey. Jimmy Ruiz, isn't this a nice surprise? Come in. Oh. What brings you back here? Zook. Zook? What's that? Don't give me that! I saw what you did to Hector. Oh, look, Ruiz. I know all about you and Alter Tech, and I think we can help each other out. How? What's that, some guy in a Halloween mask? Huh. I wish. Listen, that's no mask. This guy is pure evil. Look, Jimmy, I need you to do something. You take out the pumpkin for me, and I'll get you your neighborhood back. Marcello, I just heard Jimmy. What are you doing here? Rita, I could ask you the same question. About your offer. I'm no hitman. If your boys come down on Hector again, I'll be on you before you can blink. You used to be tight with Jimmy, weren't you? Look, I need him to take out the pump. You make it happen. Whatever you want. For now. Wait! you'd never come back. You're yeah, right. So what did you expect? You're the one that left. I was gonna come back when I had it made. Maybe that was stupid, but my life has changed a lot. Come on, I want to show you something. It's the latest alloy from Ultratech. Just about indestructible. It packs two 300 megahertz plasma blasters, that's for enemy armor, and it has a built-in stealth mode interface and boot jets with the cruising speed of Mach 2. Impressive. You could take out the pump and Marcello. Easy. Could I try it on? <laughs> I don't think it'll work with anybody but me. These things run the suits juice through my body. I'll tell you what. I'll put it on to fly you home, okay? <laughs> Well, well, well. We have a new player in the neighborhood. Hey, you two. This is our street. Come on out or you're gonna be sorry you ever stepped on our turf. Sludge, your department. <gasps> Don't make the pump mad, you little pop. Heck, you. Get away from me, you freak! Go! <laughs> Too 
bad it isn't permanent. Now, now, Pistol. Sludge frightened those boys quite enough. Mm, how much longer we have to wait, Pump? Don't be so anxious. Our friend Mr. Ruiz will be here soon. Our watchers saw him leave with Marcello's woman. There. You see, Pistol? Now that wasn't too long, was it? <laughs> now we can go. I just wanted to confirm that Prototype has formed an alliance with Marcello. I got the Saluki. Salacious. Permit me to anticipate you, my dear Sludge. The solution to a vexing problem. Young Ruiz must be eliminated. <laughs> Are we agreed? <laughs> Give me the word, Pump, and the eliminating begins. <laughs> Such an eager lad. Oh, Jimmy, I'm so glad you're back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Call the cops! Hurry! Can't breathe! Don't move. Help is on the way. <laughs> Why, prototype? I didn't know you cared. <laughs> You little creep. Who gave you all those weapons? I must humbly huh. confess. It was I. Lord Pumpkin. Was it my lovely orange complexion that gave me away? More like the smell of rotting vegetables. <sighs> Are you all right, my young protege? No sweat, Pump. Excellent. Should I finish the job? <laughs> Don't you think he's already finished? Is finished the word you're looking for? Let's leave him in peace, or pieces, and see what happens. Jimmy! Jimmy! I gotta find a way to dig that suit out of there. Are you sure you're all right? That explosion was some kind of electrical thing, like lightning. I'm fine. Well, it's a good thing you had on your suit, or you could have been really hurt. You sound just like Prime. I do fine with or without that suit. I know that. You're the best. I hate it when I hear people say that you couldn't cut it if it weren't for that suit. They do, huh? <gasps> well, let me tell you something. This is my neighborhood, me, Jimmy Ruiz. Not prototype. And I'm not letting Marcello or Pumpkin or anybody mess it up. Oh, Jimmy, be careful. The first thing I'm gonna do is shut down this zoo business. Now you're mine. I thought I told you to go back to Hollywood, Ruiz. Look, all I want is some information. Dial 411. Come on, Hector. You and me used to be tight. Let me guess. You want to find out about Lord Pumpkin and the Zook. You want to play Ultra Hero with your Ultra Force friends. No, it's not like that. We like Zook, see? Yeah. 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 Zook. 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 Yeah. Zook. Zook. Yeah. Zook. 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 What's happening? And you ain't gonna mess it up. I don't want to hurt you, man. Hurt me? Ah! Ah! 
I'm gonna send you home in a toothpaste tube. <laughs> Hector! Oh, man. You all right? Don't tell me I did this. <sighs> Jimmy? It was like a shock or something. Guess I was really zooped out. We'll get you help, Hector. I promise. You still want to go after the pump? It's all in here. Jimmy? Watch yourself. <laughs> Feels good, young pistol. <laughs> in the New York sewers. Soup will make this vast city Lord Pumpkin's pie. And you, dear boy, shall always have the biggest and juiciest slice. You really mean that, Paul? <laughs> to paraphrase Shakespeare's Shylock, I am a pumpkin. Hath not a pumpkin affections? Yeah? Well, what about me? You said you'd hit... <laughs> Me. You did promise him more Zook Pump. Whatever you say, dear boy. Whoa! <laughs> Take ah. care, young pistol. You're too tempting a morsel for the hungry Zook plants. Ah. Very well, Sludge. Have your Zook. That's more like it. If you didn't control the Zook, I'd lock you up for a thousand years. <sighs> Last pistol when Sludge is restored to himself is just another tiresome New York City cop. There's nothing tiresome about jesting. Jostling! Justice! No! Give me more Zook! My dear Sludge, you know better. You must first do me a service. <laughs> Here's your chance to earn more Zook Sludge. I rather thought young Ruiz would come calling. But where's that suit of his? We're dusting the pumpkin. <laughs> Looky here. It's Ruiz. Mine is the suit. Oh, this is great. Two for the price of one. One minute and counting, boys. No, Marcello, stop! Don't tell me you're still soft on the guy. No, baby. Of course not. It's just... we can use him. His suit. We should find out where he's got it. It's gotta be worth something. Fifty million bucks something. Good idea, baby. We'll search his mom's place after we take care of the pump. Okay, boys. It's smashing pumpkin time. <laughs> Let Ruiz take the brunt of it. You might have tried ringing the bell. Wow! Oh dear, dear. And I just finished decorating. I can't have this.
<laughs> if you want more souk, my disgusting friend, earn it. Go after them. Aw, oh, come on. Let me go too, huh? Don't let the big jerk have all the fun. Some space, you big boulder! Too bad, Sludge. No zook for you. I found him first. You are ancient history. Nobody says Jimmy Ruiz's history, especially a four foot part like you! What the? you find yourself in the middle of most sandwich cookies, you'll find there's not so much middle in the middle. Oh, you me! But now there's new cookies and cream Dunkaroos. You can make a sandwich cookie with as much frosting as you want in the middle. Because you take special chocolatey cookies and dunk them into creamy white frosting, then put them together for a sandwich cookie that puts you in the middle of a lot of fun. New cookies and cream Dunkaroos. Lots of middle. Lots of fun. I don't need a big production. I just don't like waiting for things. Then you'll love the new Blockbuster Visa card. Use it at stores, restaurants, wherever, and earn rewards every month towards free movies, CDs, and a whole lot more. No other card offers so much fun stuff so fast. And the way I see it, why wait for what's coming to you? Blockbuster Visa from Nations Bank. Who'd think a Visa card could be this entertaining? This summer, coming to a supermarket near you, there's going to be a great new high C flavor with an outrageous food taste. And what are we going to call it? Ector Cooler. <laughs> high C Ector Cooler. Slimer's new food drink. You've been warned. A multiple choice quiz. From Taco Bell. Our subject, the work combination platters. The question, which is your favorite? One. A scrumptious saucy burrito supreme platter. Or two. A mouth-watering Taco Bell Grande platter. Or three. A tasty taco light platter. If you need some help, choose that. For the work, you answer just might be. Strange things happen to people here. I'm scared, Jimmy. Please come home. Okay, Mom. I'm on my way. Whoa. I don't know what's going on. I never had this power before. Hector! Oh, man. You all right? Don't tell me I did this. 
Lord Pumpkin. Was it my lovely orange complexion that gave me away? You take out the pumpkin for me, and I'll get you your neighborhood back. Get him while his helmet's off, slug! I hate it when I hear people say that you couldn't cut it if it weren't for that suit. Young Ruiz must be eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Are we agreed? <laughs> Watch it, he's gonna blow! Curious. It's muted. Energy boosting its effect. Zook will be so addictive, nobody can kick it. Eager customers life. <laughs> Running scared, are we? We got us a war coming, and we're gonna be ready. Huh? Oh. It ain't our fault we smelt. That freak Ruiz blew up the whole sewer. He did what? Without his suit? So where is he now? The pump's big geek hauled him off before we could dig ourselves out. I've called a meeting with Lord Pumpkin. Huh? This is how you plan to beat the pump at his own game? By growing your own zook? Beautiful, aren't they? You guys set up an ambush downstairs. The rest of us will be at Pumpkin's Theater. I'm gonna make sure I'm the only one who controls zook. Get ready for D-Day. You mean P-Day. The pumpkin's gonna roll. You coming? <laughs> Senseless violence is your department. Splendid work, young Pistol. Pistol? I was the one that drunk, drooped, jumped, dragged Ruiz back here. Mere brawn, Sludge. A mule might have done the same. Splendid. My zook plants are simply wild to get their tendrils on Ruiz. Lucky for you, the zook can't get past those candles. Yes. I'm afraid they give vegetables a bad name. When Ruiz wakes up, find out what he knows about these energy powers of his. Then feed him to the plants. Not until I get my zook. Zeus! Could you mean zook? You did promise some to the big dip. Fine. Help yourself, Slug. Ah! No. Then follow orders, Extertechnical. You'll get all the zook you want after you fertilize my garden with Ruiz. Once it's absorbed his energy, zook shall be the most addictive substance in the history of human stupidity. Come along, young pistol. 
We must meet with Marcello. Sorry, kid. Tough bleak. Brock. Break. What? can talk again. I'm me again. This stuff is great. Even better than before. So that's why you're working for the pump. Yeah. Tough luck for you, Louise. I got my orders. Orders. Wait. I remember you. You're Frank Hogue, right? You're a policeman. Was a pop. Paul. Policeman. Say goodbye, Louise. waiting for you. Don't listen to her, Pump. She's Marcello's babe. There's only one way to find out. This is stupid. The Pump ain't coming. Got a problem with doors? Now, now, my young sociopath. This young lady did so kindly warn us. That's right. I want to make a deal. Please, do continue. Marcello's organizing all the South Side gangs. And as you can see, plans to take over your zoo business. He can't do that! He's cutting in on our turf! Let me at him. Patience, dear boy. This could be interesting. If you had prototype fighting for you, you could blast Marcello's punks into oblivion. And I can make it happen. And your prize? I get Marcello's piece of the action and half of yours. Is that all? <laughs> what of Mr. Ruiz? Feed him to the zook for all I care. You're some piece of work, lady. I thought you and him were sweethearts. That was before he took off to be Mr. Rich and Famous. So, we have a deal? There may be a problem. Looks like Boogerman's keeping to the program. Uh-oh. Sludge! Stop! It looks as though we have ourselves a deal, young lady. Guess you licked... locked... Locked out for now. What happened to you, Hogue? How'd you get like this? <sighs> Long story, kid. I made some bad mistakes with some bad people, ending with a close encounter with some toxic waste. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ruiz. It's nothing Persian. Parsonage. It's all personal. The soup's really off again. <sighs> There's plenty more where that came from, Louise. But close. He's just using you. Don't you see? Each hit is lasting shorter and shorter. Pretty soon, you'll need a warehouse full, and even that won't do it. You're an addict, man. How many times did I used to tell that to the crabheads? Crackheads! Oh, what have I become? Oh, Detective Sergeant Hulk. He doesn't exist. He exact exist anymore. Sure he does. Come on. Help me out. We'll take down the pump together. Yes, by all means. Do help him, Sludge. Jimmy! Jimmy, it's you! Rita! They got Rita! Say goodbye to your girlfriend, Louise. Jimmy! You gotta help! Rita! 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 Jimmy! Save me! Jimmy! Rita! 
Rita! That's Marcello's place. We gotta help her. Something's wrong. This isn't the parks. The pinks. Pumps the style. Who cares about style? Cool ah! it, kid. You'll snort a skirt. The short circuits. I don't know what's going on. I never had this power before. That suit must work as a damper. When I'm all torqued up, I guess it keeps me from going ballistic. Ah, I can't worry about that now. I've got to save Rita. Pops back. Those idiots didn't take care of him? Well, don't just stand there. <laughs> Setting you up, Ruiz. It smells like a treat. A trap. Why would Rita do that? A cop's hitch. A hatch. A hunch. I'm out of here. She is working for the pump. Ruiz, what? Wait. Wait. Marcello's man. Okay, Rita. This is just for you. Now get moving. Get inside. The south side is a war zone tonight. As rival gangs square off in a full-scale drug war. The strangest part of all this is the appearance of Prototype, Ultratech's high-paid pitchman, who has obviously taken sides in this battle. What the? Come on, he needs us. Rocket Boy needs our help. <laughs> Let's do it. Come over, Cody. Can't take much more. Out of the picture, we got it made. Now that you're here, can you help with this? We are fighting the bad guys, aren't we? Anywhere you look, there's only bad guys here. <laughs> better and better. Soon the entire Ultra Force will be fighting on our side. <laughs> Pistol, what are you doing? Come back here. Yeah, Pump, I gotta get some action. Save a friend of mine. Can you finish the job without me? Dumb question, Lord of Flame. You know what I think of you. Yeah? Heck <laughs> yeah. Still, I'm glad you're on my side. <laughs> Fun's over, pistol. Let go of me when the pump hears about this. I'm counting on it.
<laughs> for a moment there, I was quite worried for dear young Pistol, but this is a splendid turn of events. Trade you, Pump. Your little psychopath for Rita. A very fair trade. Wouldn't you say, dear? <laughs> it's okay, Rita. Everything's gonna be okay now. I rather think that depends on one's point of view. Come, young Pistol, I think it's time we departed. Hold it, you two-faced liar! I delivered Ruiz, now you deliver Yorin! You rotten gourd! You made a deal with him? Get real, Jimmy. I'm sick and tired of playing the airhead. Rather delightful resolution, eh, young Pistol? But we are missing one last element, the coup de grace. See you're all tied up. Come along, young Pistol. Rita, get out of here! Great thin friend you are! No! Hope, oh, don't! Get out of here! Somebody's gotta stop the lump. The Lord. The Lord. Pumpkin. That's gotta be you, kid. Go for his candle and walk. With his whip. It's the only way to beat him. Hold! No! While you do the pump, I'll do the zoop. I'm calling a halt to all this misery and addition. Addition! Just who I wanted to see. What the? Your squad! <laughs> Nighty night, pump. Time to blow out the lights. Okay. I never saw anything like that. And he thought he wasn't an Ultra. Hey guys, is it over? Yeah, thanks to you. You better take it easy. Where's Sludge? Is he... Sorry man, don't think he made it. He did a good thing, a righteous thing. Why? Because I want to be at the top. Don't look so shocked. I only did what you did. You think that's going to make you happy? Better than being left behind waiting for you. This is your fault, Jimmy, and you're just going to have to live with it. It's not true, Proto. She wouldn't be like this if I hadn't left. You don't know that. You did a good thing here, Proto. Things were getting bad with Lord Pumpkin and the Zook. You saved a lot of lives. A lot of families. Yeah, but what about Rita, Hector, and Sludge? They made their own choices, which reminds me. You're always welcome in the Ultra Force. But it's your call. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. So Proto Flake's back on the team. Yeah, Musclehead. Somebody's got to keep you in line.
地。WCW Goldberg's in trouble. Ming to the front. Back he goes to the turnbuckle. Into the gut. But Goldberg rebounds with a headbutt. Ming on the outside. Ming gets a chair. Goldberg gets a chair. This could get ugly. They're gonna. They're gonna. Well, they're gonna eat pizza. Little Caesars WCW meal. Get a free WCW motion card when you order two medium pizzas for just $9.99. Collect all four. Pizza, pizza. I'll trade you these three for Goldberg. Nope. Hey, we gotta talk. Every morning I slave over hot calls to make a nice hot breakfast you love. Kellogg's Pop Tarts. And do I get these things? No! Sure, Kellogg's puts in all that real fruit filling, but I make them hot, all toasted and tanned and warm and gooey inside. And when they pop up, what do you say? Cool. They're cool because they're hot. Give me some credit. Show some respect. Not the chicken! Kellogg's Pop Tarts, part of this complete breakfast. They're cool. Because they're hot. That's it. That's his house. Mr. Brad Haley? Relax! Did I win something? My sources tell me you've been calling Jack in the Box, Junk in the Box. So? I take these things personally, Brad. Get lost. Sure. Just try my food, apologize, and I'll go. Beat it, clown! Listen, punk! I've spent millions of dollars improving my kitchens to make our best burgers ever! They're psycho! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Whoop them good, Jack. Uh, Brad, you get to try my best burger ever, and all I want is your honest opinion. Tasty. Really? You're not just saying that because I'm kneeling on your spine? No, no, I shouldn't have dished your food, man. I'm sorry, Jack. Well, I'm sorry about the grass stains. Really? No. Cyclone, raspberry orange, and lemon lime. <laughs> down, boy. Down. <laughs> From good humor. number 44.3. The Temple of Temescria has buried itself beyond Hellspont's reach. At the moment, the Wildcats are on guard, but there are starting to be distractions. How long before the lovebirds give in? Two days. Ten bucks says one. You're on. The temple buried itself deep. We're looking at nearly a quarter mile of solid stone, straight down. Yeah, well, as far as I'm concerned, it can stay there. If we can't reach it, neither can Hellspont. He will not stop trying, however. And we can't stay here forever. Don't sweat it. Now that Halo Industries owns the island, we can load up the defenses. Which reminds me. Give me Archer. Jacob, my most despised business competitor, how unpleasant to hear from you. I do hope you're calling with good news. Your bankruptcy, perhaps. <laughs> Listen, Archer, I got an emergency going here. I need two of your salvo cannons and a dozen Stinger threes right away. Really? Well, Jacob, since it's you, I can let you have them for, say, 
60 million. What? That's three times the going rate. <laughs> Four. But it's your emergency, Jacob. Take it or leave it. One of these days, that guy's gonna push me too far. Void, where's Hellspawn now? Can you get a reading on the behemoth? Yes. It is submerged 40 miles offshore. And Jacob, he is scanning this area now. Blast! Marlow has wasted no time in establishing his defenses. They are just conventional forces. The Troika will defeat them. But not with sufficient speed. The Wildcats would be alerted. They will teleport in to stop the Troika's attack. So, we wait for an opening. No! Each passing moment brings the Wildcats computer expert Warblade closer to a solution for the Code of Threes. With it, they can open the Force field and obtain the orb. I will not let this happen! You have a plan, Lord Hellspont? I do indeed. A plan which will eliminate the Wildcats as an obstacle forever! <laughs> They're here to see the President. Wildcat alert, Wildcat alert. Damonite activity detected at the White House. What? Sounds like old propane puss is after the top dog again. Not if we can help it. Claws out, cats. We're going in hard! Tell me you guys are causing trouble again. Those men, they were enemy agents. Huh? Yeah, sure they are. I'm telling you, bro, they were Damonite agents. And I believe you. But you were darn stupid to pull a stunt like that on national TV. Now the whole country thinks you were attacking the president. And I can't put a hush on this one. Well, what were those drones doing there? It was a publicity bite. They were donating a fortune to the president's favorite charity. Oh man, we've been set up. Perhaps if someone had not overreacted in a crisis. Hey, that agent had you in his sights, sister. I am capable of looking out for myself. Yeah? Well, excuse me for living. Hey, hey, hey! It's too late, it happened. Now you have to stand trial. Yeah? Well, how about we just cut out of here? No, Warblade. We cannot afford to fight the government and the Daemonites by becoming outlaws. We must play along for now. Hellspont's up to something. Sooner or later, he'll tip his hand. And when he does, I promise you the Wildcats will pounce. Success, Lord Hellspont. We have accessed the nuclear disarmament facility. Excellent. There they are. The last two nuclear missiles on Earth. With 
With one, I shall blast my way down to the very temple and destroy the force field which protects the orb. But first, with the other, I shall destroy the wild cats. <laughs> What happened? The missiles! They're gone! I can't believe they're putting us here! Well, let's face it, Voodoo. There isn't a prison around with a prayer of holding you guys. So we're using the strongest security vault ever built. Fort Knox. Whoa, Mama. I used to dream about busting in here. <clears throat> Before I went straight, of course. <laughs> uh, Zealot. What? Hellspawn stole a pair of missiles? That flame-headed freak? He's gonna try to blast out the temple. That is likely. But at the moment, the Daemonites are headed for Fort Knox. After the cats? What about the government? They do not have my tracking ability. They cannot find the trucks. Just as well. If the feds try to take on Cinder Skull's crew, a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Nah, this one we're gonna handle ourselves. And I think I know just how to do it. Call an emergency board meeting. Now. <laughs> Vengeance. Our agent reports that the Wildcats have been taken to Fort Knox. Alert me when you have arrived within missile range. Without fail, Lord Hellspont. And instruct our agent to ensure the Wildcats do not escape. I have waited a long time for this moment. Just remember, keep an eye on them. I think they'll cooperate, but if they don't, hit them with a jolt from this. It sends an electrical charge through the walls and floor of the vault. Should knock them all cold. Even the cyborg, got it? Good man. Man! How long are we gonna put up with this? Fifteen minutes and I'm already stir-crazy! What the... What's that clown doing? <gasps> That's no clown! He's Daemonite! Let's roar, cats! <laughs> Maul, take them! Go it up! What the? Ah! Don't move, Blue. Hold him, and try not to mess up this time. Time to call Marlow. What's this emergency meeting all about? Don't know, but if I know Marlo, it's gotta be big. No! You gotta stay there. Sir, the Daemonites have a nuclear missile. I'll handle the bug faces. And what's more, I'll clear the charges against you. But I need you to stay put. Understand? If you attack them now, you could set off a nuclear disaster. All right. We will follow orders. For now. Spartan out. Marlo's gonna take on Hellspont's crew? No way. He is no warrior. He is a mere human. Hey, don't diss the race. And let me tell you guys something. If the fire plug says he'll handle it, he'll handle it. Don't you worry. Ladies and gentlemen, the country is faced with an unexpected nuclear crisis. And due to the nature of this situation, 
We here at Halo are the only people who can handle it. So let us do what we do best. Let's cook. Approaching the Big Sandy now, Lord Hellspunt. Once we cross that bridge, we will be almost in range of Fort Knox. <laughs> Excellent. Stace, buy that bridge. Jim, give me those demolition permits. Now, Buster. Ta heck with the Union. Get your crew rolling in one minute or you'll be out of a job. You hear me? What? They must be renovating the bridge. Accursed bureaucracies. Take the detour. Scrap metal. I need four tons. Hustle. Bob, buy out every tire store in that area. You heard me. I want all the gas in a 30-mile radius. No, I'm not kidding. Do it. for the clincher. Let's go, people! What the? This road is now the property of Halo Industries. Please pay toll. Marlow! I should have known. This has gone far enough. Prepare the hover ships for launch. If I cannot fire the missiles, I shall deliver the warheads personally. Yeah, give me the news service. What do you know? They are enemy agents. Patch this through to the White House. Uh, hey, brought you some food. It is slop. Take it away. Now come on, you need your strength. Ugh. Hey! It is fit only for human males and other swine. Now just hold on a minute, sister. You've been riding my case ever since we started this gig. What are you trying to do, drive me away? Perhaps I am. Oh yeah? Why? You would not understand. Try me, sister. Maybe I want to find out. Do not be absurd. Why would you care? Why? Why would I care? Because I love you, that's why! <sighs> oh, man. Sorry. Sorry, maybe you were right. Maybe I wasn't meant to be a Kota warrior. I know, feelings like that get in the way. So I guess... <sighs> I'm sorry. Guess I failed the final test. We have both failed, Grifter. I... feel the same way, too. Well, finally! Pay up, big guy. What? What did you- Ah, oh, Grifter. I fought against it for so long. Well, maybe it's time we quit fighting. Wildcat alert. Wildcat alert. Nice going, Chrome. Greetings, Wildcats. I got good news and bad news. The good news is, you've just received a presidential pardon. So what's the bad news? The bad news is, Hellspot's on his way there in a hover ship. And he's got a nuclear warhead with your names on it. <laughs> Hellspawn's on his way! We gotta get topside, fast! Couldn't have waited 30 seconds. Oh. Lord Hellspont, the alarms are sounding at Fort Knox. The Wildcats have detected my approach, but this should slow them down. <laughs> what the? Move it, people! Oh! Heads up! Power surge, majorly! It's gotta be Hellspot! Ugh. Doors! Fused shut! Stand back! Oh, 
Yeah. Doors open. Let's go. Put that down. In less than one minute, the Wildcats will cease to be an obstacle. There they are! We have to crack that tin can. One pair of can openers. Coming up. Yeah! Ah! Demonite scum! Ah, Kodo Witch! Seconds, Pike. Get us out of here. Fair catch. Ah. There. <sighs> One more for the scrap heap. No time to pat our own backs, cats. Hellspawn's got a second warhead, and he's on his way to blast out that orb. They're gonna need air support, Boyd. Any warplanes in the area? There is one, but you will not like it. Jacob, really? Another emergency? This is getting to be a habit with you. Listen to me, Archer. This is no joke. Ah, but you are, my frantic fellow. Whatever you want, the answer is no. Goodbye. Archer? I've had enough of that guy. Bort? Sell our Archer Armament Holdings, and sell them cheap. Do it! Jacob Marlowe's unloading all his Archer stock. Archer Armament must be in trouble. Sell Archer stock! Sell it! Hurry! Archer stock is down by half! Wait for it. It's down two-thirds! Still dropping! Wait for it. Wait for it. Now! Buy it! Buy it all! This is Archer One. Archer One? This is Jacob Marlow. I just acquired a controlling interest in Archer Armament. You are now working for me. Uh... And I just doubled your salary. Yes, sir. What are your orders, sir? Hello! Hurry home, Troika! And tell Hellspot the Wildcat sent ya! Never mind them. Look! Stand back and watch me work. Here she comes. No time to disarm it. Maul, listen up. Gotcha, boss. And now for the long pause. will be mine. This I swear. My company. My plane. My job. I'll get you for this, Marlow! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha